Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. Today we are going to solve one hexic equation from Mathematic Olympiad. Equation is x power 6 plus x plus 2 whole power 6 equal to 2. This is one of the best question of hexic equation. While solving this problem, we will use algebraic identities, manipulations, we will use real numbers, complex numbers, we will talk about quadratic equation, simplifying. So let's get started. I will consider x as, let me write x as x plus 1, let me put in the bracket like this, minus 1, whole power 6 plus x plus 1 plus 1 whole power 6 equal to 2. Now what I am going to do? I am going to consider y plus 1 x plus 1 equal to y. So equation will be y minus 1 whole power 6 plus y plus 1 whole power 6 equal to 2. Simple it is. Let us consider y minus 1 equal to a again and y plus 1 equal to b. So ultimately our equation converted into a power 6 plus b power 6 equal to 2. Let us talk about the value of a and b. So let me write here a equal to y minus 1, b equal to y plus 1. How it is useful? a power 6 is there, b power 6 is there. So shall we write this one as a square whole cube plus b6 as b square whole cube. Then we know one algebraic identity a cube plus b cube that is a plus b. So let me write directly a plus b done a square. So a square whole square. So a power 4 b square b power 4 minus ab so a square b square equal to 2 no problem now see next step i will write a square plus b square as it is a power 4 plus b power 4 so it will come in the square of a square plus b square so let us write that so i will write a square plus b square whole square now consider that square a square plus b square whole square a power 4 okay done b power 4 okay done and then 2a square b square but what is required here minus a square b square so plus 2 what i should write here minus 3 then it will give after counter addition you will get a square b square okay now things are looking easier how a and B is known. Alright. Now we will use this one to write A square plus B square and A square B square. How? See. A square. I will write Y square plus 1 minus 2Y. Done. B square. I am taking a square here. B square. Y square plus 1 plus 2y. Okay. a square plus b square. It is required in, in our equation. See. So I will add both the equations. What I will get? 2 times y square plus 1. Minus 2y plus 2y will get cancelled out. Now what is left? a square b square. Okay. A square is there. If I will write only in this manner so that we can see the difference of a square formula. If I will put bracket like this, you can see it is written a plus b, a minus b. So for which I am talking about, I am talking about a square, b square. Once you will take the product of these two, then you will find out the difference of a squares. Okay, so that formula will come. So what is that? I will write a square minus b square. What is a? y square plus 1 a square done minus b square so 2y whole square 4y square now i need to only put the values let me put here 
a square plus b square. What is the value? 2 times, let me write, 2 times y square plus 1. Done. In bracket, a square plus b square whole square. So, I will write the same square 4 times y square plus 1 whole square. Done. Minus 3 and this value. Complete. Minus 3 times. So, let me write minus 3 times y square plus 1 whole square and plus 12 times y square. Alright. Equal to 2. Okay. Now, you can see 4 y square plus 1 whole square minus 3 y square plus 1 whole square. I will write y square plus 1 whole square plus 12 y square. I will cancel the LHS RHS 2. So, y square plus 1 as it is equal to 1. This is our required equation. Actually, I was thinking about to reduce the hexic, the degree 6 into some reducible degree, degree 2, degree 3, degree 4. So, we succeeded in that. So, now I will write our equation. See, y square plus 1 is there. Okay. y square plus 1 is there. So, what I am going to do? I am going to give one more substitution. y square plus 1 equal to t. So, equation will convert. Let me write here. y square plus 1 equal to t. So, if you will put the value, then your equation will convert into t in bracket. It is t square plus 12. Now, see, it is written over there y. So, I will put the value of y. You can check there. Then y square would be t minus 1. So, I will write in that place, in place of y square, sorry, I will write t minus 1. So, that value will be equal to 1. Okay. Now, expand this bracket only. Simplification. T cube plus 12 T square. I am writing directly. Minus 12. So, minus 12 T minus 1 equal to 0. Now, you can see one solution is clearly visible. That is T equal to 1. So, if I am putting T equal to 1, I can check 1 plus 12 minus 12 minus 1 so it is 0 true that means t equal to 1 is our one solution or t minus 1 is one factor so i have to find out the remaining two so i will use synthetic division method that is quicker and will give result quickly quicker and quicker so let me write here what is the coefficient of the given cubic equation 1 12 minus 12 and negative 12 the leading coefficient I will write as it is. 1 times 1 is 1, 13. 1 times 13 is 13, 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 0. So, factorization done. T minus 1, which is our T equal to 1 solution. And this synthetic division outcome is T square plus 13 T plus 1 equal to 0. Alright. Now, one conclusion is about to come. Let us find out the roots of quadratic equation. Okay. Minus b minus 13 plus minus square root 169 b square minus 4ac over 2a. If you will examine this value, then this value is less than 13. If it is less than 13, in both the cases, plus or minus sign, in both the cases, this t value will come out negative. Let me give you one example. If it is suppose 12.8, it is less than 13. Obviously, 12.8 I am considering. Minus 13 plus 12.8, negative value. Minus 13 minus 12.8, negative value. In both the cases, we are having t negative. Once t is negative, see what will happen. y square plus 1 is negative. y square will be more negative. Minus 1 you are doing. So, it is negative. Okay. Now, what is y? y is our substitution x plus 1. And see, x plus 1 whole is square is negative. Is it possible? No real solution. Only complex solution. Okay. 
So a square of any number cannot be negative, it must be positive. So only one real value is coming out that is t equal to 1. If it is set to find out complex values also, then we will simplify, we will solve the given t values, we will solve all four roots. These four roots are complex roots. Okay, t equal to 1. Let me put the value of t. y square plus 1 equal to 1. Let me write here. y square plus 1 equal to 1. t equal to 1. In place of t, I have written y square plus 1. So y square will be equal to 0. Let's put the value of y. y was x plus 1. So I will write x plus 1 whole is square equal to 0. That means x is equal to negative 1 repetitive roots. So for this hexic equation, we are having four complex roots. I am not interested in complex roots because of it is not asked and two real roots. Because of it is repetitive, so x is equal to negative 1 comma negative. It is repetitive. Okay, let's verify this value quickly. x is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 power 6 plus negative 1 plus 2 whole power 6 equal to 2. It will be 1, 1 power 6 equal to 2, 2 equal to 2. That means our answer is right. Only one real root x equal to minus 1 is there in, in terms of value. But if out of hexic equation there are 6 solutions, so 2 are minus 1 minus 1, the remaining 4 are complex. Alright, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.